See, we got that club thumb thing going on. Look at that, that's where I get the... Hello guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 23. Oh my god, tomorrow, well tomorrow's not actually Christmas Eve, but it's Vlogmas Day 24, which is equivalent to Christmas Eve. This is probably the latest start I've gotten to a vlog. It's like 4 p.m. Let's do the advent calendar before I forget. Okay, number 23. I feel more sick today, which is just like really annoying. Eek. Number 23 is a tea, and he's just standing under the tree. The probably is in Santa. Tomorrow is 24 and it's an A, then what is 25? Maybe it's not a message. Maybe it's an exclamation point. You'll have to watch the vlogs to find out. Anyway, at some point today, my family and I are going down to the Verizon store. Like, I don't have any storage left. Um, I've had it for a couple years. It's an iPhone 5, but it, like, doesn't malfunction. So, like, I don't know. My eyes are in the shadows because of this hat. Now you see me, now you don't. Also, I'm going through and reading some of yesterday's comments. You guys are literally so nice and supportive and helpful. Like I asked for advice and like everyone's thoughts on the whole grad school situation. And it's just so nice to like actually to hear people who care. Annika says whenever I watch your vlogs, my family thinks I'm Skyping actual friends because I laugh so much. But it's just my good pal Christy who doesn't know who I am. Oh my god, shout out. I totally know who you are now. Exo Country Writer 97 says she goes to American University and is a political science major and tour guide. If I have questions, which I will probably hit you up because that's actually the school that I'm considering strongest. American looks awesome and they have so many programs for what I want to do. Who has had a bad taco? No one. <laughs> Amazing. The case of the mystery tortilla. <laughs> I'm saying that next time my teacher asks what my favorite novel is. Amazing. KP says, what do you want to do your master's in? I want to do my master's in foreign policy specifically, but kind of generally just international relations as a whole. Shout out to everyone like Hannah who realized that my quote on my planner is from Slaughterhouse-Five. I read that book on the ship and I think it's one of my favorite books. Like, oh, I loved it. This house believes in sangria. Yes. <laughs> Lauren asks, if you attend grad school, will you continue doing a lot of college activities like sorority life? Will we focus more on internships and career prep? Honestly, grad schools don't really have the same like social aspect that undergrad does. There's not like sororities in grad school. I mean, there are at the school because it's like integrated with undergrad, but like you're not involved. Like you become an alumni when you graduate undergrad. So like, I'm not opposed to being involved as an alumni in my sorority. Like I think it would be cool, but really like grad school is to focus on on your career in your future which I'm definitely like excited and ready for it's just more to focus on your career so that's probably what I would do but I also don't have any friends in DC so you guys would all have to hang out with me if you live there please okay let's see a status report on what we doing where's my dad this is cute was this part of a gift that I shouldn't be seeing hey dad yeah. what's our master plan what are we doing um, we're here for mom. Oh, okay. Mom's getting her hair done. Look at me in my aerial PJs. What a throwback. Where was that? <laughs> at a Christmas party? This was at Grandma Phyllis's. Oh, I'm just like, wow, you're tall, sir. <laughs> <laughs> totally just remembered I told my mom. Ooh, Harry Potter's on. I told my mom I would grab a present for her and bring it her, so I gotta do it. Let's get the Hoffler Prince. The Hoffler Prince. My mom's amazing at wrapping gifts. I didn't get that gene. Ta-da! This isn't even for me to give to anyone. This was the first gift that I have wrapped this year. So really? Yeah. Are you proud of me? <laughs> proud of you. You My it. gifts are coming in the mail. One of them is supposed to come tonight by 8 p.m. And one of them, or multiple, are supposed to come tomorrow. And multiple will all probably arrive late. So let's see if it was delivered outside yet. Ooh, cold. Ooh, rain. Ooh, gourd. Ah, stop honking at me, man. The Santa hat is on, so you know it's gonna be a good trip. You got that Michael Moore look. What? That baseball cap. Look, where's Kyler? Michael Moore is not the only person in the world who wears baseball caps. With the camera and the <laughs> when your dad compares you to Michael Moore. 
Thanks. Love you too. As they shouted out with glee, sing along. Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Than the doorbell just rang. Do you think that's my mail? <gasps> I literally just checked outside to see if my box came, and then the doorbell rings. What timing? It Get it out of the rain, quick. Yum. I don't even know which one this is. I'll deal with you later. I am alone here, chilling in the car because um, my family wanted to run into Costco and grab a couple things, and I decided to not. <laughs> this lighting is impeccable first of all the light that's coming through there's like raindrops on the windows So it looks like my skin is just like spotty. <laughs> I already know they're gonna take way longer than they said they would so I think I'm just gonna You know set up camp watch some vlogs <laughs> Life hack for watching vlogs in the car while your family's in Costco Put it between the headrests Call out your Remy 12 seconds later. Day 43, being stuck in this car, stranded, alone, running low on food and supplies. Just kidding, I'm literally just so impatient. Where are you, family? Why the hell are you taking 10 years? But it was my choice to stay. Is that why Costco? takes this long oh. What phone is that? LG something or other. This is not a phone. This is so massive. Like, my hand wouldn't even, like my thumb is not even operable in this capacity. See, we got that club thumb thing going on. Look at that, that's where I get the. I forgot this isn't a real button anymore, I thought. I don't know. I don't think it's real. It's just a It's like a touch, touch. yeah, yeah. So it like senses it. Yeah. It's not like a click click, but you can feel it. Oh. This one. Yeah. Okay. You can feel it. What's up, Bernie Sanders? Who are you? What is your story? Special Tillamook white chocolate peppermint bark ice cream. I don't know how this would be as ice cream. I'm kind of skeptical, to be honest. I'm gonna try it. Tillamook is the best ice cream in the entire world, and I'm not saying that because it's an hour away from my house, but I am saying it because it's so good. If you've never tried white chocolate ice cream, so let's see. What is that? Probably some peppermint. Oh my god, this tastes so much like peppermint bark. Oh, good. <clears throat> How? With peppermint. Yeah, but like the chocolate too. I think it's little chocolate bits, but it's like the ice cream itself tastes like white chocolate. Here, try a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, I'm eating. Oh, you're eating curry. <laughs> 